Hey guys, John Rettinger here. In the coming days, I'm going to be doing a ton of Storm 2 coverage. Each one of those videos is going to have something to do with the SurePress screen. So I thought before I got into a series of videos where I explain the keyboard, compare it to other devices, and show the browsing, I thought it'd be important to talk about the technology behind the Storm 2 screen and give a demonstration on how it works and compare it to last gen's Storm 1. So, backing up to the Storm 1, the SurePress technology was definitely in infancy with this device. There is one sensor in the middle, as we've seen on teardowns of the device. So anywhere you pushed on the screen, you were still just hitting that one sensor. So whether you're hitting the middle, right where the sensor is, it was pretty accurate. But if you're going into the bottom left corner or the bottom right, sometimes clicks wouldn't be registered or they would be extremely inaccurate if they were. Another problem with this sort of implementation of the technology was there was a lot of time to wait for the screen to pop back up, which you notice if you were sending a long text or email. For those of you that use the Storm 1, you're definitely familiar with this. So let's think about it, the Storm 1's technology. Let's call the sensors the stack of quarters, and we'll use a MiFi device for an example of the screen. So if I stack this right on top, I'll we'll move it a little bit in frame. If I'm pushing the bottom left or the bottom right, it's still just acting on that one sensor. So if I push in the middle, you know, then it's going to be a little bit more accurate. But there's a lot of time for it to go back down and come back up like there was on the BlackBerry 1. Now on the Storm 2, there actually are four sensors to take advantage of a technology called PISO technology, which I'm not going to get too into right now, but I'll explain a little bit. It's got four sensors, one in each corner. So I put the MiFi on top of it. Anywhere that I wanted to push, there'd be a sensor. So I'd have a lot of increased accuracy. Certainly you're not seeing this click, but hopefully this illustrates the point. So a couple of cool things about the SurePress technology found on the Storm 2 and taking advantage of that piece of technology. When there isn't any power running through the device, particularly power running to the screen, I can't push it. So let me go ahead and lock it and I'll give you a demonstration. So right now, the screen has been locked. I cannot push it at all. It feels like I'm tapping a capacitive touchscreen like on the iPhone or the G1. And you can see it's not budging at all. But as soon as power comes to the screen, suddenly I can click away. And I'm getting just a much higher degree of accuracy with this implementation of the technology. So this actually is um, very cool for a few reasons. First, when you had the Storm 1 in your pocket, over time, you get a lot of dust that would collect sort of in the creases along the device. And that dust would add up and add up and add up, and eventually you couldn't push the screen. That was the case with a lot of people. With the Storm 2, you don't really get that border along the edge. The whole screen almost appears flush. There's a little bit of an edging, but uh, not much at all. And when it's in your pocket, the screen's not going to be pushed in, so you're not going to get that dust that's going to come in. The four sensors and the PISO technology really make for a much more accurate uh, experience with the uh, Storm 2. And as you'll see in upcoming videos demonstrating how the keyboard works, I think is the prime example of how the Storm 2 is just worlds above and worlds better than the Storm 1. So guys, this is uh, John Rettinger for exclusive content. Be sure to check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers And to learn more about Techno Buffalo, check out technobuffalo.com. And for future Storm 2 videos, be sure to stay tuned to the channel. And there'll be a link to all those up in the sidebar. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.